Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK. And if you're new here, hello! Uh, it's been a while since I've been on the channel. Again, like every time I get back to doing it, something happens and I take a break. Um, but everything's smooth right now, so if you're new here, uh, this channel is all about home education and family life with a house full of home educated neurodiverse children. Um, I don't share my children very often. Um, when I do, it might be images of them playing or occasionally a brief conversation with them, but they aren't the focus of the channel um, and they don't come on, like they come on very, very rarely um, and with their consent, at least as much consent as a child can give. So um, for those of you who are um, come back and who've been watching for a long time, um, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you for sticking around, even when I've not been um, recording. Like I see you, I see the ones when I upload something new that are just, like jumping on the video and I really appreciate it. So today I wanted to answer a question that I have seen asked quite a few times in um, our, our, a couple of local home education groups on Facebook. So they are, um, if you are not in one, I would suggest that you join one. Um, they are home education groups. You can just type in home education and then your area into Facebook and you'll probably find a group. Or you can type into um, a, a national group like Home Education UK and and say, and you know, um, comment, like maybe put a post and say, hey, I'm in this county or this near this big town, um, city, whatever. And is there any local home education groups? And someone will be in there and they'll direct you to the right place. So I saw these questions in in a local home education group and I thought oh I will answer that on the channel because um I don't tend I'm a bit of a lurker in groups just because um I always feel like there's so much drama and I just I try to I like try to separate myself from drama as much as possible um so the question was as the title suggests how much home education or home school if you prefer to use that term I don't I prefer to use home education um do you do a week and like what does that look like so like what do you count as home education so I will count anything I can as home education like a trip to the shop I will um, give my children either a visual or written shopping list and I will get them to pick the items for me um, I will get them to calculate like are those apples cheaper per kilogram or are those apples cheaper per kilogram like if we're getting if we're only getting a small amount but we really like those apples like which one's going to be cheaper because we want to go for the cheaper option rather than the best value today and then the next time we go like i want the best value rather than the cheaper one um maybe like depending on like what we do so um yeah we um i will count anything as home education i started to look at so what we do on a um daily basis we do um English and maths every day and I don't mean like every single day seven days a week we probably we don't do anything on Monday because the children go to forest school so that is six hours of home education in my mind um tick <laughs> um they're doing all sorts there and I and I don't have any input in that that's all their teachers that they have there so um that's that's number one number two then Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday we do something home education wise Sunday we don't do anything um so Tuesday to Saturday we will do English and maths um and that probably takes about 20 to 30 minutes um per subject per child and I will give them one-to-one -one time during that so it does probably take um two to three hours Charles does work independently quite a lot so um he so for example um maths at maths for Charles and Albert they both use IXL so they do that independently um unless Albert's kind of struggling to focus that day um we suspect he has ADHD so that does happen quite a lot <laughs> and um so he will I, he will sit with me but he will be doing it independently and I'll be doing something else I'm just there to like support him and remind him to go back on task um Charles does his maths independently um Bessie does workbooks, she does power maths workbooks, so she does those with me um, because I, I, to make it less of like a mental chore for her, I will um, read the questions to her. She can read now, um, it's taken a while. Um, sorry, I just had to set up um, Bessie's art school class. Um, you okay? Okay. Um, she, 
both her and Charles have out school classes on Thursday, and that's just today, which I am filming this. Um, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, so I, do, I help with Bessie, help Bessie do hers, I read it to her, so it's not so much of a big, um, like, much of a big deal for her. Um, so, like, they can all be doing maths simultaneously, really. Um, it works about two hours a day that we're doing English and maths. Um, which is kind of in line with what they would be doing if they were at school, kind of two hours. Um, the rest of it, they will do, they will be, pl they play games, um, they will be doing like, they'll play board games, they'll play online, like um, Minecraft and Ro I don't really, actually, they don't really play Roblox anymore, but they play um, Minecraft a lot. And then they play Pixelmon, which is like Pokemon and Minecraft mixed together. Um, we will go for walks, uh, which we will always label as a nature walk because we always talk about nature when we go. Um, quite often it comes a Pokemon walk because my son plays Pokemon Go. Um, we will do um, lo yeah, lots of other things. So they go swimming um, one day a week. So I class that as because it's a life skill, so it's home education. Um, then we obviously they have their out school classes, which are Charles does a art class, uh, which is Pokemon themed. Um, he's actually doing it right now. Um, I, um, I think he said Tortric. I don't know. Um, Charles? Charles? What? what are you drawing today? What, what are you drawing today? Togepi. Thank you. I have no idea who that is or what it looks like, but if you know more Pokemon than I do, um, or your child does, you will know who I'm talking about, I'm sure. So yes, and Bessie is just going up now to um, have her out school class on the tablet, and that is all about um, that is all about um, animals. The teacher is Canadian and she's living in South Africa, and she teaches all about animals in South Africa and around the world as well, not just South Africa, but um, she will often show her animals that are in her garden. So, like, sometimes there's been pictures of zebra. Um, there's been zebra in the garden, in her garden, like, outside her garden, not she, like, by her front door. There's a frog who lives in her door handle. There was a snake once. There was a big spider. Like, all sorts of stuff like that. And Bessie's, like, totally there for it. Uh, giant ants, I think, as well. Um, Ma, I have um, included the links to the, both of those classes in the description. Um, the Pokemon class is by a... Um, by who Charles calls him Teacher Billy, uh, but his um, link to on out school is down there. I'm not getting any like referral deal or anything like that from these, just because I think the teachers are amazing and they deserve to be um, promoted. Um, so yeah, Teacher Billy does Pokemon classes. He does all sorts of drawing classes and he does all sorts of um, other things as well. And he's actually an American teacher living abroad as well. And I think he lives in Egypt. So like, it's really, really cool that the children get to learn from different adults who are different nationalities than we are um, and who live in different countries as well. So um, it's always quite cool. And then Miss Natalie um, is um, is the other teacher that Bessie sees. And um, yeah, they are both absolutely fabulous with the children. Um, and so accommodating to their differing needs and just fabulous. So yeah, links in the description for both of those teachers' um, profiles on OutSchool if you want to check them out. They, um, they do know that I'm going to promote them, but they, as I said, there's no, they're not giving me any special treatment or anything <coughs> for promoting them. I just want to do it because I... I like them a lot and my children adore them. So um, big thank you. Hi, Billy and Natalie. Um, so yeah, so that gets ticked off as that. Um, we'll also, um, any kind of physical activity, it's also things, um, also gets ticked off as home education too. Um, on Saturdays, we have now started doing um, a, um, a Pokemon activity book um i think it's called curious monkeys learning resources or something like that um my dog is barking so is he again um yeah so on the north right it's like this pokemon so this this curious monkeys learning resources i think their names are link in the description i may have got the name wrong um and they've got a Pokemon activity pack. So we have started doing that together on a Saturday morning. Um, the kids are really excited about everything. There's like Pokemon cookies and we're going to not use fondant. I'm going to dye the cookie dough one red and one like, um, and then what make one that's not, there's like just normal cookie dough colour. Um, and then we'll like just fondant the black bits outline on. Fondant, um, classic icing, that's what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things in there. And there's like word searches and there's like Pokemon charades and there's design your own Pokemon and 
with like Pokemon trade, like make your own Pokemon trading cards. Uh, we found out about it from um, Hannah Home Educates. Um, Home Educate with Hannah. I can't remember. Everyone knows Hannah, right? She used to work with me at our school. Uh, we were on the same team um, and she did, she did loads of stuff. Uh, she was fabulous. And um, <clears throat> I don't tend to see her on like YouTube or anything or Instagram. I tend to see her on TikTok um, and she was promoting those on there. And I thought they were really cool. And I was like, yeah, okay, let's give it a go. And I just got the instant downloads because I could not wait for them to be delivered. Um, and to be fair, I've got so many books that I need to, home ed books that I need to get rid of. Um, I'm actually going to be, I need to go, once I've gone through them all, I'm actually going to be posting them on to my website, um, Adventure All The Way. Um, and it's not up and running yet. Um, I've, I've taken it down and I'm going to be put all of the, the books on and um, they're going to be like a pound each. So if anyone wants to uh, get them, then I will, um, I'll do a video and I'll let you know when it's all live. Um, if anyone is interested in seeing them before they go up, um, pop me an email, uh, adventureallthewayuk at gmail.com and I will send some pictures to you so you can see. Um, as soon as I've got them ready to go, I will send some pictures and you can just like get them before they go online if you want to. Um, I can't because I can't be asked to do the whole eBay thing. Um, yes, anyway, I digress. And then we will be doing our um, unit study as well so we do our unit studies uh, i get them from teach simple um i specifically only use one creator on there um called simply school girl um her unit studies are amazing i love them we've just we did oceanography a few months ago and now we're moving on to crabs um the children really wanted to learn about crabs so that's what we're doing and um, i am going to try and encourage some history and geography at some point but to be fair i've been i've been doing both like I've been when we okay, were doing crabs okay so let's talk about we like bringing aspects of history and geography into it it's also science and art so um tick 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 <laughs> that probably takes us like an hour hour and a half depending what we're doing that week I'm talking with my hands a lot today blah, 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 blah. um yeah so that kind of it works out that when you include everything that I'm classing as home education it's probably between 20 and 25 hours but that includes life skills which they're not taught at school that includes like physical activity that includes nature study that includes um that will include like my my elder son charles when he goes to do carpentry with my dad for the day or he goes and does jobs which is they go and do gardening together and one sec Okie dokie, Bessie couldn't actually log on to her class. Um, I had to turn, I had to put it on flight mode and turn it back on again. And all was fine, hurrah. So yes, we probably, like, I can, I can make it work. So it is, on paper, it looks like a lot more than it feels like. Because everything can be a learning experience. Right, if, if you do baking with your kids, write it down. Like, and, and write, like, write it down or... If you write and you write things down, so you don't have to write things down, but if you write it down as like we've done this, that's however long it took you, that's home education. If your child helps you cook dinner, that's home education because it's a life skill. If you work on tying shoelaces, it's home education because it's a life skill. And all of those sorts of things, like there's so many things that you can include as home education. It doesn't have to be workbooks and stuff that there is evidence for it might just be that the evidence is this lovely cooked meal that you've done or it might just be that you've taught them how to put a frozen pizza in the oven because that's a life skill yeah you'd still need to learn what temperature the oven needs to be on how long it needs to be in there for how to set a timer on alexa or on your egg timer or whatever it's all a life skill so um it doesn't matter whether you've cooked an elaborate seven course meal or whether you've stuck a pizza in the microwave. There's it's still a skill that's going to carry them through to the adult life. So all of those things should be included. I've got hair in my mouth. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what we've been up to. That's what we get up to. And um, that is uh, what I would class as home education. I will, as I said, share some links with you below. Um the Pokemon book and stuff like that. Um, I will be talking about curriculum and stuff coming up that we've been using because we've changed it again. Um, but it's working, so it's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go. I have got to do English and math with them. So. 
and um, I need to go and post some stuff. So that's going to be what we're going to do this afternoon because it's term, it's not term time, it's the Easter holidays or spring holiday, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we have got no taekwondo, we've got no rainbows, we have no swimming, we have no forest school. So it's been quite a quiet week. Um, we need to have some play dates next week though because we're missing our friends. They're missing their friends and I'm missing their friends' mums. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We are so near 2000. I am still looking for a super duper giveaway or competition or something um, to do for 2000. Um, it'll probably be something as simple as like send me your email address on this little link, um, like sign up to a newsletter type of sort of thing because I do want to do a newsletter. Like a, I think it would be cool. Um, and, and I'll just pick randomly. Um, so uh, I'm going to go and I will see you very, very soon.